Hi everybody. Um, I thought I would come to you today and show you inside of uh, Evan Moore's daily geography practice for grades one and grades two. And also inside of the skill sharpener's geography for grade four. If you guys hear noise, I have my boys that way. They're building a fort with their friend. And then my daughter is in the school room or in the living room, not school, but in the living room and with her friend and they're playing and playing with the dogs and everything else. Alright, so what the daily pro geography practice includes is 36 weekly lessons each including teacher resource page, geography vocabulary, reproducible map, two questions per day, challenge questions, answer qu key, and also includes access to 36 downloadable maps. That is all that this book includes. So that's pretty exciting. And this goes by a five week day, or five day week, sorry. And I'm sorry about the glare, the light shining down. Okay, and then when you open it up, um, it tells you about all the other um, resources that they have. It shows you um, interactive lessons and everything like that. And then you have your weeks laid out and then what the title of each week is. And you also have a glossary in the back. Then you have um, about the setup of the book. Um, you have your teacher's page, the map page, the question page, and then the glossary in the back. This, I, I really like how this is set up. This shows you what all weeks are teaching what. So, and they're basically the same thing that's in the grade two also. So I won't have to, so you, yeah and the perforated pages. So weeks one through eight is going to t teach them how to use maps and other geographic rep representation tools and technologies to acquire process and report information from a spatial perspective. And then weeks nine through ten is how to use mental maps to organize information about people, places, and environments in a spatial context. And weeks eleven through twelve, how to analyze the spatial organization of people places and environments on earth's surface so that is what they're going to be learning from weeks one through eight nine ten and eleven twelve and then it goes, shows you all that all the way through week 36. all right and then you go into lesson one okay and it, and it even shows you right here week one so i really like that um this right here kind of aggravates me a little bit that the answer key is right here on the front of the at the beginning of the lesson but they fit it all on the teacher's page. So this right here is just the teaching page. So you have your answer key, what, what uh, you're teaching, and then the vocabulary words. Okay, and then you have your the student page. And this is where their maps are, are going to be located, right here on the first page with anything that they need to know. Right there. And then you have your layout. And so it's laid out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then each day has two questions and it starts off um, in first grade with um, a little bit of with just circling my son decided that he wanted to write it in there but it's mainly just circling no writing okay and that's week one and then they have always end with a challenge so it says choose call your favorite place in Joey's bedroom and so my son picked the bed yeah <laughs> not much to say on that one and then week two is the same thing, your answer key, teaching page, vocabulary, your map, and then your questions, and then your challenge. So as you can see, it's still just circling. And then let's go back to week 16, okay, I'm already there, so. Okay, so you have your answer key, your teaching page, vocab, if you notice vocab went up from one vocabulary word, and now you're up to four by week 16. And then you have your student page, right there, what they read or you guys read together. Your map, this is um, a land and water map of Arizona. And they have the map key. And then still just circling when it comes to the answers. So nice, easy. Okay, here's week 33. You answer key, teaching page, back down to vocabs, and this is a um, it says visit California, and then is and then they even on the map page have something to write. 
it says I would like to visit and then they write whatever they would like to visit and it even shows up here they have a map of the US sorry it's blurry sorry about that a map of the US and then it shows where California is at and then still circling okay and then back here here's week 36 all right same thing, answer key, teaching, vocab, and then it's a neighborhood plan. All right, make sure it's still. And then the questions. And then right here, right after week 36, you have your, you have your glossary, and it has all the vocab and all that in it. All right. So that is the grade one. And grade two is set up very similarly. Similarly. I can't say the word. <laughs> Same thing, contents, we, all the way to week 36. Okay. Same thing, answer key, teaching box, vocab, start directly off with four vocabulary words. But they're very simple. The map, the, or the student page. And lesson one, they are automatically going into writing. There's not, not a whole lot of circling, if any at all, and it's just straight writing. So, and here's this, same thing. All right, and then let's go to week 16. <clears throat> all right week 16 you have your um your answer key your teaching vocabulary and this is land and water map of hawaii and then there's the spread okay then week 36 your answer key a neighborhood plan and if you not remember, week 36 in this book was also the neighborhood plan, I believe. Yes. And it's the same exact neighborhood. And that's something. But the vocab is different. It's just, uh, and the writing on the student page is different. It's just the same map. Okay. <sighs> Kids. All right. And then there's the questions. And then the glossary. All right, so now let's take a look at the skill sharpeners. I actually ordered this on accident, but I'm very happy that I did. And um, this works out really well with my child who has dyslexia. And sorry about that. I had to get on to him about slamming the horse. Um, but I ordered this on accident. But I'm pretty, ha but I'm pretty happy that I did order it. Because um, my fourth grader has dyslexia and this seems to work really well for him Not saying that this went in with the um, with it being nice simple short um, Only two per thing, but he really enjoys the color the activities and all that and they are learning a lot from both of these books so um, This is connecting school and home. So I think this is supposed to be like more like a supplemental thing But it works really well and this, the way this is broken up is it's broken up into units. So unit one and unit two, they're learning about the world in spatial terms. Three and four, places and regions. Five, six, seven, they are learning about physical systems. Um, unit eight, nine, ten, and eleven, they're unit, learning about human systems. Twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, they're learning about environment and society. Uh, 15 and 16 they're learning the uses of geography all right let me hold this up for you so you can see all right so over here it tells you about the concept that's that they're going to be learning and um, they didn't have this broken up into days I broke this up into days uh, Monday uh, we read this and then I went through and highlighted all the um, places and had him find them on the globe and then Tuesday, we did the two-page spread. We read this, went over the vocab, answered the questions, and then looked at this page. 
And again, it still has the concept up here in the corner. And then Wednesday, we did the reading. We read this, defined, uh, looked at the vocab, answered the questions, and then we looked at this page and talked about the equator and all that. And then, or not the equator, but the prime meridian, sorry. Or, yeah, the prime meridian. My brain just went blank for a second. Um, then Thursday, we just did this page right here. And then Friday, we did the hands-on activity, which, and we did the application. Um, but again, I just went through and highlighted the places and then had him find them on the globe. Um, so that way he gets a little bit of globe work. And that was what we did for one week. We just did all this for one week. And then week two, we'll be reading this. And again, it has the concept. And then there'll be a two-page spread on Tuesday, a two-page spread on Wednesday. And... Um, then Thursday will be this, and then Fridays will be our hands-on activity, and then the application. Alright, but again, so let's look back at whatever this week would be, because <laughs> they're not numbered in here, but they'll be learned, scouting the globe, they'll be learned about human systems, and again, the concepts are always up in the corner. So this would be a Monday, a Tuesday, which he'll love this because it's baseball. Wednesday, and then this would be a Thursday, a Friday, and then this would be Friday also. But this, uh, he loves the pictures, he loves the hands-on activities. Um, so this is really good, and they're all learning a bunch from these um, these books. Because I was struggling with teaching them ge geography, and this Evan Moore's uh, workbooks came in handy. And they we're we've only done one week in it so far, and the kids are really enjoying them. They're enjoying how short the lessons are, and that they're not taking a big old chunk of their time. And um, and I really. We really enjoy the short, simple, sweet lessons. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in below. And don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. Bye.